Hey everyone, thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video online. Anymore nowadays, it feels like all we do is fish either braided line or fluorocarbon, or we combine the two to have a braided line main line with a fluorocarbon leader. And there's great reason for that. The technology of lines, the lack of stretch, the sensitivity is so important to our overall success with being able to translate bites and bottom composition and uh, so on and so forth as we fish throughout the day. But today I'm going to make a case for the use of copolymer lines. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below because I'd love to hear from you. So everybody's fishing fluorocarbon and honestly, I think fluorocarbon is something where I use probably 60 to 80% of the time, 60 to 70% of the time. I do use a lot of braid, but I also use braid with fluorocarbon leaders. So really those two lines are what get the line share of the action when it comes to bass fishing in my boat. But monos and more importantly, copolymers have really been overlooked. And I think there's some great techniques for which I reach for those types of lines, that copolymer, which is basically a line within a line. It has less stretch than a regular mono, but it has a lot of abrasion resistance. And there's three particular techniques that I like to use copolymer line with because I feel like the benefits are there to substantiate the reason to make that change. Number one, it's the Carolina rig. You might be thinking, wow, I wanna feel the sensitivity when I'm fishing a Carolina rig. But with a Carolina rig bait, you've got your weight and then some beads and then a, uh, some sort of a swivel and your leader with your bait in the back there. So mainly I'm gonna fish fluorocarbon for my main line. And then when it comes to the leader portion, the part that's tied to the hook and the bait, for this portion, I really like to use copolymer lines. And the reason why is because fluorocarbon is super dense and, and it actually is heavy and it falls to the bottom. It wants to drag your bait down. And I'm not saying that my bait's gonna float behind the Carolina rig weight. I hear a lot of people talk about that. I've never seen any evidence for that. But what I have noticed is it doesn't get drugged to the bottom nearly as much with mono or copolymer in this case because it doesn't sink. It has a tendency to float or it sinks super slowly, more slow than your fluorocarbon lines. So with that, I like to throw that out there. And a lot of times your Carolina rigs go into the bottom, the weight is anyways. And then this is up here and it's just sinking slowly. And that's, I think, a part of the uh, cast that really brings attention to the bait. Not only that, but I'm not just dragging it hard into the weeds any types of bottom composition, rocks, and different things like that. It has more of a tendency to kind of skate over the top of it instead of getting hung up in things and really getting wedged in wood and different things like that. So I feel like I get more bites with copolymer for my Carolina rig. The second technique that I think makes a difference is when I use a topwater bait. This happens to be a uh, KVD Splash, Strike King KVD Splash. And with this bait, I feel, or any type of topwater chugger or walking bait, anything like that, I use a braided main line. And then right up here, I use either FG or a blood knot, and I use a length of copolymer. And the reason for that is braid floats, but fluorocarbon doesn't. Again, that wants to bring your bait down in the water column, kill the action, and uh, it really makes it more difficult to work and it weights down on, it pulls down on that bait. And you don't want that. You want something like a copolymer to really get this bait to float and really be able to, for it to work. The lack of drag that, that the copolymer has enables that bait to walk across the water, chug, and it looks more natural. It doesn't get uh, you know bogged down by the heaviness of fluorocarbon. So that's number two. I definitely like to have a, a length of copolymer in front of my topwater bait. Number three, I don't do this often, but if I'm fishing a lot of close quarters contact with wood, stump, rocks, and those types of cover with a square bill crankbait, 
a copolymer can work really well. And a couple of the reasons that I like to use it is because as this bait is running over types of cover, copolymer actually, in, in my opinion, it actually kind of lifts the bait. So it's not getting hung up on wood, like stumps, the lay down logs, standing timber, any type of debris, brush piles. When I'm fishing shallow water with a square bill crankbait and even making short casts, you know, 20 to 25 foot cast, maybe even closer 12 foot cast in dirtier water where I'm target fishing a square bill crankbait. I feel like there's a great reason to use copolymer. Not only that, because if a bait bass bites it real close to the boat and you set the hook, there's stretch in copolymer where there's more stretch in copolymer than fluorocarbon and it enables the fish to have the bait and you don't pull it free from the fish's mouth. So that's probably the third way that I really like to use copolymer lines. And when it comes to copolymer, I really love Gamma. The Gamma Polyflex, those lines work tremendous. I've got some 20 here and some 12 over here. And I started fishing copolymer way, way early in back in the day when I started fishing with my dad. We fished some different copolymers and um, I feel like that's where I really fell in love with this type of line because there's so much forgiveness, more stretch and more abrasion resistance than your just typical monos. So I got a lot of experience with it, understand the material and know how it fishes. And if, if you are looking for a line that has more forgiveness than fluorocarbon and a little bit more abrasion resistance, I'm going to say, look at copolymer lines like this Gamma Polyflex. It's an excellent line for those types of techniques like I'm talking about. Most of the time, I'm just going to use your Gamma Edge fluorocarbon, or I'm going to use some striking tour grade braided line. But when I don't, for certain situations, this Gamma Polyflex copolymer line is a tremendous tool for these types of applications. Give that a try. You might find that you can boat a few more fish that you can get a few more fish to bite in certain situations. That's it for now, guys. Just a reason to use copolymer lines that I feel like can make a difference in the number of fish that you could land in a day's time. Thanks for watching this video, and until next time, good fishing.